Page 74, Shepherd's Hay. At the top of this page, they have some warm-ups for you. A couple measures of left hand, a couple measures of right hand. These patterns they're giving you are in this piece. So I would suggest you do these warm-ups and get the pattern down pretty well because it'll make playing the piece a little less difficult. Huh? So just follow their fingering, all right? Just they've got one five for everything. Remember that is an F sharp. There's an F sharp in the key signature. All Fs are sharp. hand. I don't like putting a thumb on a black note, but it's all right here. Just move your hand up toward the fall board and, and then I'll next time get it get the hand back out. So hopefully you get to where you can move, do these things without looking down at the keyboard so you can feel it. You're not moving very far. One key, you ought to be able to feel that. So work on that. Practice it without looking to see if you can do it. without. It's going to make playing this a little more doable. So as far as the piece goes, it is in G major, as I said, because there's one sharp in the key signature, which means all Fs, wherever they are, all Fs on any line or space, doesn't matter, are sharp. They're not going to put a sharp sign on every F liner space. That's silly. They just give you one and you know that, okay, it's on an F line, so all Fs. It applies to everything. It's in common time, which is the same as 4-4 four, four time, right? Right? I know you remember that, isn't it? You want to bring out the melody, which starts out in the right hand, and then in the pickup to the third measure of the third line, it's in the left hand. Right? And it's not that easy to use those fingers. This is good. You need to use those fingers. This is good. If you use the weight distribution, you're kind of rolling one from one key to the other, it's not that difficult to play. I can exaggerate it to show you, but the movement is actually very little. But the point is, I'm simply shifting my weight or transferring it from one finger to the other by basically a little roll. We want the eighth notes even. It's hard to do that way. We want them. We don't want to something. It's got to be even. And with all that gibberish said, let's try this out. You can do the dynamics on your own. I'm just going to play it. You have slurs in there. Put them in. We want a little, you got staccatos. Uh, we want a little bit of silence between the slurs, like the first line, the second, third measure. A little bit of silence in the right hand, and it's the right hand we're talking about. It's the melody we're talking about. We want a little bit of silence there. Don't connect the half note A with the B, the eighth note. Now lift up on the A first, and then if you do it slightly with your hand, we've covered this before in the book earlier. And you get on the second line is a similar thing. And then the left hand gets it at the bottom, a couple of places. The third line, last me next, uh, no, it's the last measure, and the, the left hand. And then a little bit of silence before you play the A. A little bit of silence before you play the B. So we get, we hear the phrasing in there. The other hand can just do its thing. Yeah, have fun with it. So I'll give you four counts. Let's play it together. Uh, okay, the right hand is here to start, and the, no, that's the left hand. The left hand is here, so I get the left and right, the left, uh, left hand is here, and the right hand is here to start. They're going to move around. You may have to practice your hand moves a little bit, but you'll figure them out. Okay. One, two, ready, and go, and.
piece is marked Allegro Moderato, which is the tempo, which is Allegro's fast, Moderato's moderate, or a, a, Andante is kind of a walking, you know, stroll along, pleasant walking pace. Moderato is a little, it's a moderate pace, a little faster than that. Allegro is just a, a moderate fast, okay, it's a little slower than fast, or, I don't know. You decide how fast this is. It's just it's all relative anyway. There is no absolute this is it. Okay. If I were gonna play this, I think I would play it something like this to give you an idea what it sounds like, because I don't know if there's a recording on this on YouTube. I'm too lazy to look. Alright.